What's going on everybody? Happy New Year's to you all. Uh, I got up a little bit early this morning and I'm going to do a, a South Carolina Parks and Recreational. They're doing a first day hike event. And uh, yeah, it should be fun. It's a brand new park. Uh, it's not open to the public yet, but they are doing a uh, select amount of people to come into it and uh, see it for the first time. So I'm going to try to film what I can. Hopefully the files don't get corrupted and all that kind of good stuff. And I can share the experience with you guys. Again, it's not a completed park. It's um, part of it is done and there's part of it that's still under construction is from what I'm being told. So yep, I got my watch and my compass and I got my backpack back here with all my little goodies in it. Not loaded down with anything really heavy, just some essentials, uh, drinking water. I have uh, a way to cook food. I have my knife, fire starting devices, shelters, cordage, all the traditional stuff that uh, survival people and prepared people should have. Um, battery backups, I got my cell phone. So yeah, hopefully it'll turn out all right and uh, we'll see how it goes. It's a little bit rainy today, a little, a little misty I should say. A little bit misty, a little bit cool and crisp, which is great for hiking. Uh, I have no idea how long this hike is, but they said expect to be out for two hours. So the park doesn't close in that time, but that's the amount of time that they're gonna do a, um, I guess like a walkthrough, like an interpretive type of thing where they, uh, the park rangers and stuff will come out and um, talk to you about different areas and that kind of stuff. So maybe I'll be able to film that. I don't know how they feel about it yet, but we'll see. I'll let you know as I get there. Did I get here early? Or I'm in the wrong place? Did I turn in there? Or? I don't want you to get hit by a car. Oh, no, no problem, sorry.
y esto que ganas también. If you park, you park. Okay, so there's a little bit of a change of plans. I may roll in some video and you can guys can see like what I was talking about. But the first day hike uh, for this location that I was supposed to be going to today has been canceled. And I got to the gate and I mean the gate was shut and there was a vehicle parked behind the gate. It, it's a husband and wife team who was currently watching over this state park uh, until it gets completed. But this was kind of a cool event. It was supposed to be an opportunity to get out and to experience a park before it was completed. So like the first part of it was supposed to be done and they're still developing trails and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but the husband and wife team, like I said, who was watching over it have the, <coughs> the thing you can't say on the internet that where you lose your taste, uh, lose your sense of taste and you lose your sense of smell. Dang, man. And so you're you're supposed to get your first day hike sticker. And you're supposed to get your, your booklet, your state booklet stamped. And she said they don't even have that. They don't have the sticker. They don't have the booklets. Uh, none of that stuff has shown up for them. So it's kind of a, a fail all the way around. But it's not their fault. It's Like I said, it's a new park. It's It was more about the experience to get out and hike. It was more about um, getting to see a park under its construction phase and um, seeing like what it's supposed to look like and all that kind of good stuff. So it'd have been really cool to film that and show you guys. But since last year, I've been trying to uh, eat better and get out and exercise more and do all these kind of things to better my own personal health. And so I'm not gonna let it stop me. I'm gonna go ahead and walk what little section I can walk. She told me that I could uh, go down this road. Basically, I'm gonna take, take the road down to where the Department of Natural Resources is located. And there's a little road you can cut through and there's still some trails there. There's gonna be parts of it that she said that may butt up to the state park, but it's not, you're not gonna be able to go into the state park. So either way, it's still a little bit of a walk. It's still getting some exercise. I'm up, I'm already out here doing this. So let's go ahead and finish it. Hope you guys enjoy the uh, ride here. There's not gonna be a whole lot of commentary, maybe in some places, but um, it's more just gonna be giving you visuals and let you guys uh, see what it looks like. So I hope you enjoy it, thanks.
Let's hope we don't find any of those. is it's like a boat housing I don't think I'm supposed to be here So I'm in an area with the Department of Natural Resources and this isn't like the traditional public hiking area. So one direction I was following the red trail and the red trail dead ended into a big pile of debris. And so I took this trail and as you can see there's a building back there. It houses a lot of Department of Natural Resources boats. I don't think I'm supposed to be there. The trail does continue back behind it, but it doesn't look like it goes in the direction of the road. And I have my, with me, I have my compass on me. And uh, it's not taking me back to the road that direction. So I'm going another way. Okay, still going, and I got people behind me now. I think they're just regular old civilians like myself, but I don't really know where they came from. I think they came off the beach. Okay, that's orange. I want to go this way. face is red I've been out here for like maybe two hours and I gotta 
backpack that's moderately weighted down. But it's exercise. And you always need to be get used to carrying your packs with the weight that you normally would carry. And this is my get home bag. So yeah, we'll see. That's what I'm following, the red trail. Because this is the Department of Natural Resources, there's no park ranger here. So there's no map. So there's a red trail, a white trail, a yellow trail, a blue, and an orange that I've seen so far. So I'm just trying to stick with the red because I dead ended on the red and I know how to get out. That's one thing that a lot of people make, one mistake a lot of people make is getting off trail and getting lost. I know this isn't a big area. If I go one direction, I hit the water, the beach. I go the other direction. I'll go through some woods and I'll hit the other side of the water. So I'm on like a little peninsula. So it's not like you'll get lost, but you can end up going in circles, spending a lot more time than you wanted to. So stay on the trail. Okay, we're making it out now. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Stay on the trail. Okay, that's where we were before. Very cool. I don't want to film anybody's license plate, so I'm going to cut it off here. It's so pretty here. And this road will take me straight on to the uh, main gate and to where I parked at. I don't want to yell. Spook anybody. Really pretty. So I've been out here for over two hours on this trail. And I'm about out now. And insanely enough, I'm planning on going to another park after this. Too much. Okay. 